It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay, right now we have our third place finisher in today's Camping World RV Rental 200. That's Travis Quapple. Driver of the number 09 Zaxby's Ford. Uh, Travis, uh, talk about your uh, your performance out there this afternoon. Well, we had a really great truck, and um, you know I knew that in practice yesterday. And unfortunately, we had to start by points, so we we started a ways back there, and just had a you know really good truck right from the get go, and, and, and we worked our way up into the top ten, um, and then uh, you know at the first pit stop, we I had them loosen the truck up a little bit for me. And uh, on the restart, I thought the truck was going to be way too loose, but after about 10 laps, it took off and, and just drove our way up through there. And really, I think drove all the way up to second. And then when Ron pitted, we, we stayed out and got the lead and led a little bit there. And, um, guys on pit road had a great pit stop, and, and we, we came out leading, and, and the truck was really fast. We were just running great lap times. and. Um, it just took my truck like three or four laps to get going after a restart. I was just too loose. I would, would spin the rear tires, and it just took me a little while to get going. But after a few laps, I could really go and, um, you know, good, put good lap times down again. So I was concerned when that caution came out with Ron behind me. He's always good at restarts. And uh, I think the 17 truck got down inside of me and got in there too hot, a lap truck, and, and got loose, got up into me. He spun out. And I had to go away up the track to avoid that, and that's when Ron slipped by. And then, uh, like I said, it was just—it took me a little bit to get going, two, three laps, and, and Benson got by me. But uh, I wish we could have—we definitely had a long run truck, and, and we had a bunch of cautions there at the end that kind of hurt me. Okay, we'll take questions now for Travis. Anyone have questions for Travis down here? If we could bring uh, Al a wireless, please. Or I could just yell. Travis, did did you learn anything today about tire management or track position or anything that? Might help you tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I couldn't believe it. We uh, that our that long green flag run, the fastest lap I've made of the race was two laps before I pitted, and uh, you know that's whatever 50, 60 laps on the tires. I, I just couldn't believe how durable the tire was. Now, granted, you know the Cup cars got 200 more horsepower, but but basically the biggest thing I learned is is the tires very durable and uh, I think you're going to see a lot of no tire and two tire stuff tomorrow uh, to, for to gain track position um, it, it seemed like actually my truck was better you know 10 laps on the tires than they did on, on fresh stuff other other questions for Travis got one right here I read Spencer with Sporting News Travis did um did, did a little bit of contact with the 17 hurt your truck at all after that restart? No, I don't think it hurt my truck, but um, it's, it's you know, the, the biggest thing was uh, I, I lost the position to Ron, and, and like I said, my truck was just too loose for two or three laps, but the way the race played out where you'd only run a lap or two and there'd be a caution, um, I might have been able to just hold my position, you know, long enough to, to stay in front of Ron. I knew Ron was going to be faster than me for a few laps, and uh, I was hoping... You know, we could go 10 or 15 laps straight. I felt like I could reel them back in and go. Um, but, you know, uh, I, we, we, it's just the way it is with all these cautions at the end. We were kind of stuck, and we just had, we had a truck set up to just go for the long run and not five, ten lap segments. So um, I'd like to think I could have hold Ron off, but more than likely probably not. He was pretty fast on the get-go, and I was slipping and sliding for a few laps. Any more questions for Travis? Okay, Travis, nice show.